Minimizing the impact of agricultural buildings on the environment. Methane to energy. Here we have a conventional shed used to house livestock in Ireland over the winter. Slurry is stored in underground tanks. It is estimated that 132 million tonnes of agricultural slurry is generated in Ireland annually. In the next photo we will see a loose open design commonly used for calving cows. Cows are bedded with straw. This in turn produces dung, which is also spread on the land similar to slurry. In order for slurry to be applied to the land, it needs to be agitated, which releases harmful gases like nitrous oxide and methane. This is highly dangerous, but also a waste of research which could be used in another way, for example, in a biodigester. The slurry is then applied to the land, but due to high rainfall in Ireland, and also old-fashioned techniques, as you can see here, a splash plate, this adds to pollution and a loss of the resource. In the next photo we see a biodigester, which has been set up in Ireland, where the manure produced from picture 1 and 2 of this video is directed into the digester and under anaerobic conditions, the gas is trapped and converted into electricity which is used on the farm. The energy potential of cattle, pig and poultry slurry is estimated at 2.759 million megawatts, which is 10% of Ireland's needs. Here we see a t simple diagram of the process of which the, the manure goes through in order to be converted into electricity and its byproducts. Electricity is a major cost on Irish dairy farms. It is estimated at costing 0.7 cent of a litre produced. An investment in a biodigester would be expensive starting off, but it is a viable solution to, to decrease energy costs. Thank you.